Hello, I'm Malcolm Hayden. I'm 5'10", and I'm located in New York City. Meanwhile, everyone's touching me. 30 hands, 15 mouths on my body. It wasn't even me in this moment. It was this other version of me. I remember thinking to myself, this is how it must feel to truly be alive. <laughs> I start to get close. I stand up on a bench. By now, I'm completely covered in sweat and lube and spit. I start to jack myself off. Bringing myself closer and closer to orgasm, all eyes are on me, wanting me, encouraging me, demanding of me that I come for them. And then finally, standing over them, my whole world contracts into this tight little ball and I release myself. I spray my cum all over them like I was anointing them. I've never come so hard or so much in all my life. It was the closest I've ever been to genuine ecstasy. <sighs> one by one, they all start to come. It was beautiful to watch. I was euphoric. I remember thinking, I always want to feel like I do right now. This moment, this feeling. I want to live in this moment for the rest of my life. Slowly, my euphoria starts to fade and a thought starts to form. Like Adam Lucas McDowell returning to this hot, sweaty body. None of these guys have been wearing condoms. And suddenly, I'm awoken from my dream to the realization that I just bareback with at least a dozen dudes. I got down off the bench and made my way out of the stall. Everyone was grabbing at me and wanting me to stay. Suddenly, their touches just felt like violations. I ran to the locker room and quickly dressed. I left with my clothes sticking to my body, still covered in sweat and lube and spit. I smelled so disgustingly. I ran to my hotel. When I got to my room, I took the hottest shower I could stand. I cleaned myself and discovered I was bleeding. I could see it going down the drain. I got out of the shower and looked at my clothes. There was blood all in my underwear and inside of my jeans and I just no, I just, I called my mother, telling her it was just one guy. She called a friend of hers, a surgeon at Sloan Kettering. This surgeon called a friend of his in Prague who wrote me a prescription for PEP. I flew home the next day and we went up to Vermont for Christmas. I got really sick on Christmas Day. It felt like the worst flu ever. My mother took me to the hospital where I got a rapid HIV test, but it came back inconclusive. The doctor ordered blood work, but it was Christmas Day, so we had to wait three days for the lab to reopen. Worst Christmas of my life. Three days later, my mom and I drove back to the hospital for the results. They found the virus in my blood. Trace amounts. Barely detectable, but still detectable. HIV positive.